The final part of the acronym is to take action. Um, with all of these uh, parts of ACT, when we focus and apply them all to our lives, we really start to move in the right direction. Let's see now how Bernie gets on with using acceptance commitment therapy. ACT really made sense to Bernie and he got straight into it. He got better at accepting his anxiety and intrusive thoughts. Things were going well and when the anxiety did show up, he had a plan for it. He would gently keep bringing his attention back to the now and his values. But then, Bernie tried to make too many changes too quickly. Oh, Bernie! And soon, he was back to fighting with his fears. But as we know, this doesn't work. Note to self, don't try to change everything overnight. Like Bernie, so many of us struggle when starting out with ACT and it's perfectly normal, it's not a problem at all. I myself found it incredibly hard to start, up, to start off with to apply all the principles of ACT. But through persistence and you know, just really trying to focus in on the skills, you will get there in the end. As an added bonus, I've included a diffusion technique that's taken from the full course. I really hope you find it helpful. The first technique we're going to look at is simply called noticing your thoughts. Now, when we have OCD and anxiety, the thoughts keep popping up all the time and they're really incessant. They won't leave us alone. And we need to have some way to respond to them so that we're not taking them seriously. And one way of doing that is just to kind of label the thoughts when they do come up and just to notice them because the noticing part of you is a part of you that's slightly different from um, the thinking part of you, okay? The noticing part of you is the part of you that you're using when you're meditating. You're paying attention to your breath, for example, and you're noticing the sensations of your breathing. And it's a really powerful um, part of you that can help you to stay in the present moment. So what we do is whenever we notice uh, a thought coming out, uh, coming up throughout the day is we just say to ourselves, I notice I'm having the thought that. Now you don't have to say it in exactly that way because for some people if they say it exactly that way every time it can become a compulsion in itself and obviously that's not very helpful. But what we want you to do is just to start noticing when the thoughts come up. Now it's important to remind you here that I'm not saying to kind of do this activity to push any anxiety away or to get rid of it. No, when you're doing this, you're just labeling the thought. You're saying, I notice I'm having the thought that. And if you want, you can also say kind of what the thought is. Is it a negative thought? Is it a thought that you've been having, you know, like uh, 10, 20 times already today? It doesn't matter. You can just say, I notice I'm having the thought that and then just say whatever the thought is. And you want to just allow that anxiety that you're feeling to be there. Um, and that's not a problem at all. And then the next thing you're gonna do is just to gently put your attention onto your values. Again, we talk more about values a bit later. And this seems like it's not gonna do anything, but I promise you, when you keep practicing this um, over time, you will begin to notice a slight difference in how you feel you'll be, begin to be able to kind of notice that thoughts are just thoughts. They're not anything more. They do not mean anything about us. And that's incredibly important to understand when we have OCD, because sometimes the thoughts can be so horrible that we think, oh, why am I having these thoughts? This must represent something terrible about me. But it doesn't at all. It's just passing phenomena. And that's all that thoughts are. So if we can just label them for what they are, that really helps us. And something that also works with this is maybe at the end of the day to write down your thoughts like we were talking about earlier in the course. Okay guys, so that's it for the free mini course. I really hope that you found it helpful and that my humour wasn't too off-putting for you. Um, and uh, do please check out the full course. Um, remember, this course is just a free version and it's re we've really just kind of touched the surface. Um, there is so much more involved with acceptance commitment therapy. So if you, if you check out the full course, 
We, the, the videos are much, much longer. There's much more information in each video. I give you many more um, skills and techniques that you can start applying to manage your OCD in a much more effective way. Uh, I include all, the, all of the uh, PDFs to accompany the videos. And I also give you lots of uh, links and uh, recommendations as well. Um, I really, really hope that you found this course helpful. Uh, do please get in touch if you have any questions or if you want to do some coaching with me. And uh, take care and best, best of luck with applying these new skills into your life.